Hey, I'm at Dario's today. We're going to be installing a roof mount air conditioner. We'll go through the templating, the reinforcing, the cutout, and the electrical. Let's check it out. Okay, so here it is. That's the rooftop air conditioner there. And this is the part that clips up from the underside. This is what you see from the ceiling. Having a look at the bottom and the top here, you can see the mesh, which is from the return air. That's the air filter. And then inside this gray rectangle here is where the cold air gets blown back down. This is having a look at the underside. This is the part you're used to seeing. And then this is having a look at the underside of the air conditioner. As you can see on the left there, that is the return air. And then on the right, there's a black rectangle with a fan inside. This air conditioner is being installed on a Franklin caravan. This caravan hasn't had air conditioning for 40 something years. So it's really gonna be an awesome job to do. This caravan has a hardwood frame and it is not structural enough to carry the caravan's air conditioner. So we will be putting a steel H frame on top of the roof to take the weight. Going inside, we start to stencil out, making sure that it will fit between the two vents on the roof. After completing the stencil, we drill out the four corners. Once the four corners are drilled out, we get a jigsaw or a cipro saw and cut out the roof lining. Pulling down the roof lining, we expose that this caravan has been well insulated with styrofoam. So we cut the styrofoam out, grab a longer Cipro blade and then cut through the roof sheet as well. Once the cut is done, that's it. That's the only hole. It brings the return air through, it takes the cold air back through and it takes all of the power all through the one opening. Here you can see we push a rod through to create a void for the power to go through the roof line so we don't have to have any ugly exposed wires. We then put in a tail or a white draw line. This is to pull the power cable through at a later time. After that, we grab a chisel and we rebate out an edge to run a hardwood frame. This just gives the opening more structure and helps with waterproofing. As you can see here, it's tacked from underneath and on top and glued in place as well. Once that's in place, we pull through the 15 amp power cable and have an electrician hook it up to the breaker. Putting the H-frame on the roof, you can see the squares line up for the structure here. The air conditioning will sit on top of this and underneath the ceiling and pull them both together. The reason there's a bit of a bow in the steel is to help carry the weight. So that once the air conditioning weight is put on and it's all screwed together, it actually assists in lifting the weight off of the roof. This is having a look from underneath when the air conditioning's in. You can see the return air and the fan. There's a silicon gasket right around the outside which will pull tight once the screws are in. Once you're happy with how it's sitting, you grab the internal face, put it into position, pulling the wires through to the correct sides, and then there are four screws, one in each corner. Making sure once it's all up to grab a torque wrench and torque it to spec. After that, the electrician's going to hook up the display cable on the right, connects into the display, and then the 240 volt mains cable that we put in before is going to hook into the 240 volt mains cable for the air conditioner. Once those two connections are done, you can put the final face on, turn the air conditioner on, and check this out. Beautiful cold air. This caravan's going to be awesome, even on the hottest of days. Okay, that's it, a rooftop air conditioner from start to finish. It's now blowing out, beautiful cool air. If you found this helpful, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.